From Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus three hours and holding. We're now in the final five hours of the countdown for the launch of the Space Shuttle Columbia on mission STS-80. And we're on schedule for a liftoff at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Time this afternoon. Here we see our STS-80 flight crew. Astronaut Story Musgrave down on the end. He'll be in charge of the wake shield facility activity on this mission. Here's our flight engineer, Tom Jones. He'll be working the remote manipulator system, doing an EBA, and there's our commander, Ken Cockrell. There is mission specialist, Tamara Jernigan, lead on our Orpheus spas, and we'll be doing one of the crew spacewalks. And there is pilot Ken Rominger at the end of the table. And the crew just getting ready for breakfast. There's the STS-80 traditional cake on the table. And when breakfast is over, they'll head down to suit up and head out for the launch pad, which is just about an hour away at this time. Here in firing room three of the launch control center, all of our activities continue to go smoothly. The final inspection team is on the pad. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding where we're in the suit up room and we see our commander, Ken Cockrell, in his suit up activities today. And originally from Austin, Texas. And our pilot, Kent Rominger. Originally from California. And uh, STS-80 is his second space shuttle flight. Mission Specialist Dr. Tammy Jernigan will be one of our EVA astronauts on this mission. And she will also be the primary astronaut taking the lead in the Orpheus Spas activities during the two weeks it will be in space. Across the room, there is Mission Specialist Tom Jones. He'll be our flight engineer on this mission, and he will take the lead in operating the remote manipulator system, mechanical arm. All of our suit-up activities are going smoothly and on time without any problems leading toward their walkout in about another 15 minutes. And there is Story Musgrave making his sixth flight into space, tying the record along with veteran astronaut John Young. He will be the lead astronaut associated with the Wake Shield facility activities on this flight and will providing EVA support while Tom Jones and Tammy Jernigan are out in the payload bay. And again, our commander, Ken Cockrell. This is, will be his uh, third space shuttle flight. Having flown on STS-56 and STS-69, he's logged over 20 days in space so far.
And our pilot once again, Kent Rominger. He spent more than 15 days in flight in space. This is his second flight. He's flown before on STS-73. There's Tammy Jernigan. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 55 minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Here we see the STS-80 astronauts leaving the crew quarters en route to the elevator to ride down from the third to the first floor to ride the astronaut van out to pad 39B. About a 20 minute ride out to the pad. We expect they'll arrive out there shortly after noon. Also the chief of the astronaut office, Dave Liesma, in the elevator with them. There's Tom Jones and Tammy Jernigan waving to us. And there are members of the press, members of the payload test team, and other well-wishers greeting the crew when they come out the elevator on the first floor of the operations and checkout building where the astronaut quarters are located. And here they come. And once they arrive out at the launch pad, they'll ride up the elevator to the orbiter access arm where one at a time they will enter the white room to be assisted with their helmets and entering the flight deck where support astronaut Mike Anderson is awaiting to help them with their flight suits and into their seats and with their communications gear. There they go. Beautiful Florida fall day. Solid rocket booster hydraulic power units have started. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start. 7, 6. Three main engines up and burning. 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Columbia, roll program. Roger roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads down, wings level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well.
Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Two minutes, 18 seconds into the flight, the booster officer has confirmed good separation of the solid rocket boosters, and performance on board Columbia has been as expected. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Houston, Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Solid hydraulic, solid rocket booster hydraulic power units have started. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start. 7, 6. Three main engines up and burning. 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well.
Columbia, Houston, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Two minutes, 18 seconds into the flight, the booster officer has confirmed good separation of the solid rocket boosters and performance on board Columbia has been as expected. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 7, 6, three main engines up and burning. 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Mission Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Two minutes, 18 seconds into the flight, the booster officer has confirmed good separation of the solid rocket boosters and performance on board Columbia has been as expected. Arded. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 7, 6, three main engines up and burning. 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Mission Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start, seven, six, three main engines up and burning, two, one, 
and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67 percent of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now. Miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Sound suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 7, 6, three main engines up and burning, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Mission Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67 percent of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now. Miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. To 67 percent of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Twenty-eight 
Columbia now. Miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Seven, six, three main engines up and burning. Two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a diversified mission of astronomy and commercial space research. Mission Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Columbia is in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to its 190 nautical mile orbit. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Columbia's engines are now beginning to throttle down to 67% of rated thrust. As the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of four miles. All three main engines, APUs, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Columbia's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Columbia now traveling 1,800 miles per hour, 15 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. All three main engines continuing to perform well. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Down suppression water system armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start. 7, 6. Three main engines up and burning. 2, 1. And liftoff of space shuttle.